the Montreal Protocol has been extremely successful in reducing the amount of ozone depleting gases and thereby really help the ozone layer. It has the because of the protocol the ozone depleting substances have not gotten to as high a level as they could have. That means it really prevented a large amount of ozone depletion. And it also, we can see ozone depleting substances being reduced in the atmosphere. And we can also see that the ozone layer is not getting any worse. It is indeed showing signs of getting better in the near term. Paul? Thanks, Ravi. Um, ozone depleting substances, like chlorofluorocarbons, are both uh, deplete ozone, but they also have large GWPs. So the Montreal Protocol has actually had two benefits. The first benefit, of course, is ozone. But the second benefit of regulating chlorofluorocarbons is that it has had a major climate benefit. Now, ozone in and of itself is a greenhouse gas. And you can actually see evidence of the impact of the Antarctic ozone hole on surface climate. So you have to pay attention to both sides of the problem, what is happening to ozone, and how is ozone affecting climate. 